In today's video, we're going to revisit the Marshall valve state. The reason why we're revisiting this Marshall valve state is because even now there's some people who have problems with the valve state and frankly, I don't understand why. This amp is fantastic, it's very tight and it's very aggressive. And if you want that kind of searing high-end tone, it makes more sense to get this than like a 6505 or a 5150 in my opinion. So that's why we're revisiting this because there have been some demos on this stuff I've done it myself, but now I've got better equipment and now I can go over this amp and do it a bit more justice for the black metal style of playing. Here's what we're running through. I'm using Dodario strings, 52 to 10, EMG81 in the bridge, Dean Razorback V, and I'm going straight into the Marshall VS100 head, and the cab, which is a new acquisition, is the Marshall Mode 4 MF400 cabinet. But let's hear this thing, because it's awesome. <laughs> One thing about this amp is the tightness and the articulation. Now I'm just going to play some fast palm muted single note stuff on the low E. <laughs> and you can hear it's very very tight. And on top of that is the chord clarity, the way the notes sing out. EMG 81's help with that as well. For me, I think they're quite good at picking up individual notes. And I'm not sure who pioneered this type of combination with the EMG 81 and a Marshall. It might have been Kerry King or someone before, I'm not too sure. But the sound of an active pickup through a a Marshall, especially like some old school Marshalls like this one, you get this really cool punchy sound, either the EQ curve or the push that comes from the active pickups uh, compared to a passive one. You do get that kind of Slayer style chunk, which is very nice. So on top of that, another thing that people might forget about the valve states is a little switch at the top. And to really make this amp come alive, there's a button you need to press called the FX loop level. And you have to have the FX mix control on absolute maximum because that makes a big difference to the tone. So here it is with it on. And now here it is with it off. And it just sounds bad without that button pressed. So now I've got it back. And there you get this more aggressive sound, a more push sound coming through this amp. So let's hear this amp with another guitar. So here's the next guitar that we're gonna try. So the specs on this guitar, it's mostly the same construction as the Razorback V, but this is a Dean 79 with a flame maple top, mahogany. It has my signature pickup, the EDG by Patasonic. I'm in talks to try and make this pickup sound a bit better with Patasonic, so stay tuned for that. 
and exactly the same thing just going straight into the valve state and let's hear some riffs <laughs> This guitar does give you a bit more of a mid-focus sound. I guess there might be a few reasons for that. Uh, this guitar has always had that kind of dirty mid sound. It doesn't sound as metallic as the Razorback. That might be because of the Floyd Rose construction, a bit more metal on the strings. But even when you play this guitar acoustically, it's got this super warm sound and the pickup just reflects the character of the guitar itself. But again, like what's really cool is the chord clarity, especially when you're playing like the big bar chords. <laughs> doing big open chords with open strings and stuff. These kind of chords sound wicked. That concludes this video going over the Marshall valve state and I hope it's given people a bit of perspective to the actual tones and the actual sound that you can get from this amp as well as the aggression. There's very few amps that are quite as tight as this as well and I think people have given this amp a bad reputation online and I don't understand why. This is a really really good amp and on the used market you can get these for quite affordable prices and if you're looking for a tight aggressive sound definitely consider one of these and maybe even try boosting this. And in this revisiting video, I just wanted to show people the real amp sounds, what you can get from this from the box. And again, thanks for watching.